we used to get reports every day from our regional people as to what the um, the passengers were do were doing for the day, and that was important because. After two or three days, there were rumblings that some of the airports were going to reopen. So we had to know where the people were because the airports were coming to us and saying uh, such and such a flight is going to take off in six hours. So then we in the provincial uh, center had to relay that back to uh, the different emergency centers. So we had to know where the people were. So we had people in the regional centers keeping tabs on where people were and following it through to the provincial group. The unique hospitality and support offered by Newfoundland and Labrador to the stranded passengers is a concrete example of how community partnerships can work. I can't stress enough the importance of partnerships in, um, in working through such an, an emergency of this magnitude that we had. We have uh, the Red Cross, Salvation Army, the Rovers, the RNC, the different government departments, uh, the healthcare system, and all the cities and towns throughout Newfoundland and Labrador. Because of we've worked together and sat at the table doing emergency plans, to me, that was why uh, one of the reasons why our emergency plan was so effective. I don't think anybody could have done this in and of their own strength and volition. I think it was that of the, the group. It, it was a clear example of community capacity building. I mean, people just came together. Everybody brought their own strengths. And where there were weaknesses, somebody else accommodated for that weakness. A week later, most passengers had left Newfoundland and returned to their original destinations. However, the events of September 11th, along with the compassion and hospitality of the people of Newfoundland and Labrador, has left a lasting legacy. Uh, I've traveled to different parts of Canada and to the United States since September the 11th. And um, I was going through customs in the States, and uh, the, the customs officer looked at my passport and uh, he looked at me, up at me and I thought, oh my, <laughs> what, what questions am I? And he looked at me and he said, thank you. He said, thanks for looking after our people so well in this land. One person from the United States had actually made the comment to me that, you know, the things that are happening in the world today, and it, he, he felt so discouraged by things and, you know, kind of wondering what was going to be the end of it all. And he told me that uh, one being here was a bad experience because of what had been happening at home and what had happened with them being stranded here. But because of his experiences in this province, he said that he had a renewed faith in humanity.